Well, still here at uh, DEFRA and uh, got with us the minister who's uh, sporting a very flashy uh, yeah. accessory. We'll come to that in just a minute. <laughs> and also with me, uh, Simon, who's in charge of the Isle of Man Woodland Trust. And uh, you've been chatting today. You've got all these, these uh, maps here. You're talking with the minister about um, getting more involved with taking over some of the land. Is that right? Yes, that's, that's true. Uh, they, they kind of allowed us to, to manage a piece of land up at Sartfell and we planted trees on that. And now we're, now we're getting bigger and we want to expand a bit more and do some more, plant some more trees. We've been discussing today looking at several other possible sites on the Isle of Man. One, for example, on, on this map here, mm -hmm. which we might, might when, we, when, when we researched it, we'd be planting trees. And why do you have to do this and not the government then? Oh, I, I think the, the more the more the merrier. Mm. You probably probably don't know that we've got very little tree, little area of trees on the Isle of Man. With the figures we quote, something like 44% in mainland Europe are covered by trees. The mainland UK is 12%, and we're 1.7%. We must do something about that. So, so Mr Gordon, is this due to cutbacks then you have to bring in the volunteers? Uh, I think it's great that uh, David Cameron talks about his big society. We've, we've had this for, for, for several years in the Isle of Man, and it's really wonderful that the uh, Isle of Man Woodland Trust has uh, been so committed to planting trees in the island. I mean, we do uh, have various tree planting schemes. We do uh, uh, engage in this process. Um, but uh, when you have volunteers coming to you asking can they can they do what the department really wants to do anyway um you know it's it's obviously a win-win combination this is synergy or symbiosis mm, i guess yeah. I mean, i'm yeah. surprised those figures I, I thought the old man had lots of trees but there you go oh, well, you want more i guess if you if, well if you look at you look at a map mm. you can see that large areas well they're very agricultural and, mm. and over the years we 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 used them up for you know for originally for fuel and, and that sort of thing what's the cost of planting a tree um, well, it depends, depends where we get the trees from. Increasingly, we're growing trees from seed and from cuttings, of our own trees. And so the cost of the trees is practically nil, because, mm. of course, we're volunteers and so we, we don't charge any labour, of course. We have to get tubes in, probably 20 pence, a bamboo, 8 pence, and you put a tree on top. If you include our labour, they'd be 10 quid each. Mm. But if you don't include the labour, then they're, they're, you know, they cost less than a pound. I mean, I remember going to a tree planting last year when you had all the school children, for instance, yeah. doing that sort of thing. It, this is more the same, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the same principle. I mean, we, we are quite keen to, to, to plant trees. I mean, obviously, amenity uh, use is, is one thing, but also um, offsetting uh, carbon emissions is another aspect to this. But, uh, yeah, the, the Isle of Man will look better with a few more trees around. And, and I, was, I was talking earlier about my days uh, as a farm um, assistant farm manager at Craig Nash, where we were putting sod hedges in, and, and there was this tremendous boost in, in grass growth where where the hedge sheltered the grass from the the, the searing salt winds um, you know, the, the same can happen if you get some good uh, shelter from trees so so there may be um, a lot of good that can, can come out of this and before we finish you've got to explain why you are flashing um, <laughs> I was, I was gifted this by the Isle Man Woodland Trust and it does seem appropriate uh, to wear it. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Same to you. Indeed, indeed.